drivetrain uh, is working. Now we need to add control for um, some of the other functions on the robot. So we have uh, an intake on the back. We have a conveyor that runs up the middle. And we have two flywheels that are independent motors. So we've got four more motors that we need to drive. First of all, we're going to look at the intake and the conveyor. Um, so each one of these is driven from a single motor. So one motor for the intake, one motor for the conveyor. So I'm going to get my motor block and drag two of those in. One for each um, of those functions. So this one is going to be um, my intake. And the intake on my robot is plugged into port 6. So I select port 6. And I want the intake to be controlled by these buttons on the top of the controller here, so the, um, the right-hand shoulder buttons, which, uh, if you look at the top of the controller, is, is buttons R up and R down. So I click on my controller setup, and here we have buttons R up and R down. So R down, I want to make my intake go backwards, and R up, I want to make my intake go forwards. Uh, if you program it and you find they're going the wrong way, you can just switch these round uh, and it will go the opposite way. Okay, so I can close that. And I need to do the same for my conveyor, which is this motor here, and that is plugged into port 7. Select port 7. Again, controller icon. And I want to use... Um, for this one, I would like to use uh, the F buttons. So that's these two buttons just under the right-hand joystick. So that's F up and F down. Here we go. And one of those is going to make my conveyor go forwards, and the other one is going to go backwards. And if, um, again, that's the wrong way around, I can just come back into this and change it, uh, swap those around. Right, so that's simple. I've got my intake set up and I've got my conveyor set up. So I'm going to download that again into slot one. I'm just going to overwrite my existing program. So it's downloading. When it goes green, there we go, programming OK. And now I'm going to click this to run my program. Right, so we've still got our drive control in place there. Um, the shoulder buttons here on the right-hand side should operate my intake. There we go, so the intake's spinning forwards and backwards there, and these buttons here should operate my conveyor, and there we go, you can see my conveyor going. So both of those are going the, the sort of unnatural way for the way that I would drive the robot, so uh, I would like this to be my um, conveyor up button, so I need to switch those around, which is easy to do. Here's my conveyor, I'm just going to switch that round so that that one is reverse, and that one is forwards. And the same with my intake. I'm just going to switch those round as well, so that that one is forwards, and that is reverse. There we go. So my intake's set up how I want them, my conveyor's set up. Next one I'm going to look at is the flywheels. Now, the flywheels I want to do a little bit differently, because they're going to be on a lot of the time. Uh, they take time to wind up to speed. Um, and because they take a bit of time to, to wind up speed, I, I don't want to have to hold a button. I want to just press a button and they turn on, uh, press another button to switch them off. So I'm going to have to use a bit of programming on this one. Um, there's uh, no shortcut way to do that as such. I've got two motors for my flywheel, left and right. I'm going to drop in two motors. Those are in um, ports... Let's have a look. 11 and 5. So, one in port 5, one in port 11. This time, I'm not going to use this little icon here because I, um, I need to use code to switch on these motors. I don't just want to have to hold that button down, like I said. So, um, it's going to be a little bit different. I'm going to click on the blocks icon now, and we're going to go into programming mode. And the two things I want to program are motor 3 and motor 4. 
I'm going to look at them both independently. Um, so motor three, if I go back to here, motor three there is one of my is the one that's plugged into port five, and motor four is the one that's plugged into port eleven. So back to my blocks. So let's look at motor three first. Okay, first thing I'm going to do is put a when start block in. So anyone familiar with Scratch will know the when start block. What this means is that anything that's subsequently attached to here will execute, um, this thread will execute when the program begins, i.e. as soon as I press that check button uh, to run the program, it will, uh, it will start to execute. Next block I'm going to put in is the forever loop. Need to attach that to there. You see the little grey shadow appear when it's attached. Um, and the forever loop means that it will execute whatever I put inside it, and then it will loop around and do it again, and again, and again, and again, infinitely. Now we're going to use the if statement. And I've got two conditions that I want, uh, want my robot to, to listen for. I'm going to use these shoulder buttons on the left-hand side to switch my flywheel on and off. I'm going to use left up to switch them on, left down to switch them off. So my two conditions are... If left up is pressed, switch the motors on. If left down is pressed, switch the motors off. So I have two if statements. And now I can put in my motor control, so that's under the output section. And I don't want to use any of these top two because they concern themselves with moving a precise distance. I just want it to be on permanently, so I want spin forwards. one of my uh, conditions and stop as the other. So we start to see the program come together. If something, haven't told it what yet, spin the motors forward. If something else, stop the motors. The thing I want is my controller button. So I'm going to scroll down and you'll have a menu called uh, other components here. Click on that and then you've got controller and there's one block that is uh, the analog joysticks, um, so axes A, B, C, and D, and another block which is for the digital inputs, the buttons, and that's what we're interested in. So I'm going to drag that in, and you'll notice that that block is the same shape uh, as this hole, and that means I can put it into here. So you see the shadow comes, I can drop that in. And what I want it to say is, I've got a drop down here, if button L up, down, i.e. pressed. So if button L up is pressed, then spin the motors forward. And in this one, I want if button L down is pressed, then stop the motors. And all this will do is it will keep going down the loop and keep checking that to see if I've pressed it again. So I need to duplicate that now into motor 4 because I want both my flywheel motors to come on when I press that button. So under motor 4, when start, forever, inside the forever loop, bottom, that needs to be inside there, two if statements, one to spin the motor forward, one to stop it. And I want to use my controller, exactly the same functions because I want them both, my, both my left and right flywheels to switch on at the same time. So. If button left up is pressed, spin the motor. Button left down is pressed, stop the motor. Okay, so now we can put that code on and see if it works. So still going to download into slot one, hit the download button. we go, the program is downloaded. So it should still have my movement control. Let's play the program before I can uh, do that. Okay, so we're playing the program. Still have my movement control. Um, should still have my intake and conveyor. These are now going the way that I'd like them to go because I changed those earlier. And now if I press this button here, my flywheel should wind up to speed. There we go, so both my flywheels are running. 
and I don't have to hold anything down, I'm not touching anything now. And if I press the other button, both my flywheels stop. That's almost as I want it, but both of these are turning the same way. They're both turning um, clockwise as you're looking at them there, which isn't going to launch the balls. I need the left one spinning counterclockwise uh, and the right one spinning clockwise, otherwise nothing will happen. Um, I could switch um, the left-hand one, which is my port 11 motor, to be reverse here. Um, that would work, but I'm going to go back to my robot setup and my motor in port 11, that's the one that's going backwards, I'm going to just click on this settings icon here and click reverse direction. So that makes forwards, backwards and backwards, forwards. The reason for doing that rather than changing it in the code, if I go back to blocks, is it's just easier to remember. If I, I want to launch the ball forward, so if I, I, that, if I set these to forward, that makes more sense than having to have my left one on forwards and my right one on backwards. Right, download that to slot one again. Play the program. Now when I wind my flywheels up, this one is now going counterclockwise, uh, that one's going clockwise. So let's put a ball on the conveyor. And there we go. I hope that gives you an idea of doing some basic programming for buttons.